Welcome to this week's podcast. I am your host, Maddie B, grade 12, uh, seven years in first and am department electrical lead. Uh, to start, let have you introduce yourselves. I'm, my name is Joseph. I am in grade 12. I've been in robotics or first for seven years, and I'm in the CAD department. Uh, start questions. Uh, why did you choose your department? Uh, I chose my department because my dad was telling me how back when I was on FTC that um, CAD is very important to figuring out like the design of your robot, making sure things work correctly. So I started back then, and then um, uh, some guys from the FRC team came around and they said, "Hey, we got some guys that don't know how to CAD. Why don't you come show us how?" So me and my dad went, uh, joined the team essentially and helped them kind of figure out how to use Fusion 360, which we don't use anymore. So you're saying you joined the uh, team CIS early, yeah? But yet you're not CAD lead. Yeah, well, that that was Fusion. I and now we use uh, SolidWorks. So yeah, I'm kind of there. It's kind of like roles re roles reverse where they're showing me how to use SolidWorks. Okay. Well, Dan, Lucas, start with Solid Fusion too. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you looking forward to this season? Uh, I'm looking forward to definitely winning the regional. I think that we have a solid, uh, solid plan, and I feel like that. I I feel like this year we can definitely tackle that goal. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it then. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we just got announced that we're changing our regionals, and we're going to an easier one. So we're getting closer to our goal. I'd say today was a success, maybe. 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 Uh, <laughs> what do you think, wait, what are your department's goals? Um, right now I haven't been keeping up with what we're working on because uh, I've been absent a couple of days. That's not my, my fault, that's my bad. But definitely when I get to it, we'll start working on that. Yeah. I'll get in the loop, informed. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I've been doing a lot of battery testing, and because a lot of them are old, you know, right. so we gotta we gotta check them all. And it's been a little slow because every time I do something, someone tells me to do something, and then the other person tells me not to do something, and it's getting a little confusing. <laughs> and uh, what do you think the most challenging part of the season will be? Um, definitely getting to that traversal climb, because I know that's kind of the, like the main tasks that everybody has to work towards getting that ranking point from climbing. So I feel like figuring out a climber that works for our robot will be definitely be the challenge. That's how do you feel about that? Uh, we're kind of prioritizing the shooting more than the big boy climb. I feel like that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of smart. I feel like we shouldn't put too much time into worrying about climbing if it's going to be that big of a challenge. And I feel like getting points from shooting will probably be better. Oh, <laughs> Pushing a chair in. All right. Okay. We gotta get back there. Ooh, what do you mean? I mean, we gotta get back there. We got the bowl. Grab the audience. What are you doing right now? We're grabbing ball <laughs> and spoon. Do you have a can opener? No. no, we don't need it. It's a pull tab soup. We're smart men. We bought these from the gas station like 10 minutes ago. Who fried these in a gas station? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. And they're cold, too. Oh. <laughs> Look at that soup. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <Soup. laughs> you gotta give it a little taste. You first, you first. How's the taste? <laughs> Good soup. <laughs> Good soup. What kind of soup did you go with? Chicken gumbo. The wow. smart choice. Oh, what you smart get? choice. I got a cream of potato. <laughs> <laughs> Not that good of a choice, if you ask me. 
So right. anyway, if we were to create a soup chart, where do you think your soup would lie? I don't know, you kind of seem to be the soup master, so I, I want to hear your opinion. All right, all right. Well, I think we got to we gotta start at the start of the soup chain. There we go. It's like the blockchain, but with soup. And yeah. so you got to... And better. Yeah, the yeah. Soup. So you start, uh, you start with water. That is a necessity for all soups. And so you may have some other things, such as milk, which, as you probably know, is not soup. It is not soup. So all you people saying that cereal is a soup, you are wrong. By legal definition, uh, if you look at the Wikipedia of soup, you will not find cereal. Oh, my bad. Nor will you find stuff such as uh, mac and cheese. That is not a soup. <laughs> and so, once you determine that your viscous drink has water in it, you know that it is somewhere on the soup chart. <laughs> then you can go and ask yourself the question, um, Is it cream based? That might be good. Is it cream based? No, of course, cream soup such as this does feature water. However, it is not simply milk based because then it would not be soup. And so, if it is cream based, you got. You got cream soups. Cream soups are pretty nice. I like cream soups. Um, clearly. thank you. Yeah, clearly, good. They're very, very thick. You see this? It's like jelly. <laughs> Especially when cold. <laughs> but of course, if you have a tomato based, pump it up. But if it's not cream based, it's, it's tomato based, right? But, but like chicken noodle soup. Right. It's got the no tomato, no cream. Right, so we're down the lines. It's cream, tomato. All right. No tomato, then it's just regular broth. Tomatoes? Yes. You're going to get tomato a, soup. Uh, well, I think, because like minestrone, minestrone, it's got a. Uh, it's it's got tomatoes in it, right? But it's it's different, and so I think we need to ask a new question for this kind of stuff. But you're regarding tomato soup, though, because um, if if yes, tomatoes, possibly tomato soup. Huh. But but I think we need is is it thick? Sure. Or wait, chunky. There you go. Chunky. <laughs> so you spell chunky with two H's there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> If yes, you get a tomato, tomato soup. <laughs> and if no, you get mine, minestrone, minestrone, minestrone. minestrone. Mine. Such as the hit video game of 1970s children, Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any correlation with Minestrone and Minesweeper? I would argue yes. <laughs> However, I can't discuss that here <laughs> because I'm not an expert in the industry. Right, right. Or wait, if it's... That, that's a no. There you go. That's a yes. So, no tomatoes? You get, uh... We, we, uh, we get, uh... Chunks, probably? Yeah, yeah, we'll ask that again. Chunks. And if the answer is no, or if the answer is yes, you'll get different answers, obviously. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so, a water-based soup that is not cream-based and does not feature tomatoes, but does feature chunks, I think you might have to ask, ask another question like that. For like, uh, is it thickened? Right. And I say, if it has chunks and is thickened, that is a 
do and still falls under the not soup category. <laughs> and so, however, if it is not thickened, but does but does feature chunks, but does not feature tomatoes, the tomatoes, tomatoes, chunky. Yes, mind strong. I think that's wrong. I think we need. I think we need to ask if it's thickened over here too. Just keep you updated. I updated the not soups. <laughs> not soups. So for all you Spotify listeners out there, our not soups include stews and. We're chili. not there yet. You're spoiling it. As I'm right. asking by the uh, not cream based but tomato based but chunky. You have to ask yourself a question, is it thick? If the answer is no, then you get mind strown. And if the answer is yes, you get chilly. Now, now this was a hot topic of Jones. debate for all of our uh, soup experts at home. And we had to break out the big guns. However, the Wikipedia page of official loops list of soups does not feature chili. And so you can you can tell that they is not, not a chili. soup. Okay, put uh, so real quick. Yeah, milk. Okay. Well, how do you spell cereal? Uh why would you not know how to spell cereal? Maybe I'm a little stupid. <laughs> okay, so it's spelled how I thought it was. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> not that stupid. <laughs> So wait, chunks, no tomatoes, no, wait, chunks, no, tomato, chunks, no. If you have no tomatoes, no chunks, you will get, um, what do you mean? No tomatoes, no chunks. Oh, that point you just got like. Broth, yeah. Broth, straight up broth. Yeah. You might find uh, some. Wait, no, it's not cream stuff. So no, um, it's not tomato soup because there's no tomatoes in it. So no chunks. Yeah. I think that's just broth. You just got broth. Can't have anything else. But does that include in the not soup? As it's just liquid, seasoned liquid. Seasoned liquid. I would say that that is included as a soup. <laughs> All right. But then, do you have to ask yourself, is tea soup? No. Why no? Because you drink tea in a cup. You don't drink soup out of a cup. You could. But if you, if you did drink it out of a bowl, would it be soup? Well, yeah. So it, all right. So if you drink tea out of a, a bowl, it is classified as soup. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. So yeah, you get broth, uh, maybe some tea. And I would also say, what would you use? Coffee? That's Coffee. kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. Actually, I'd say coffee is more uh, because it has beans in it. What Wait, would that beans? make it chili? Maybe. No tomatoes, because you need to have tomatoes in chili. So no, no. Mm. <coughs> so no, all those, I feel like coffee is classified more as a soup than tea is. Simply because of the bean aspect of it. <laughs> oh, really? And so how I think they're both they're both soup, however, that one is more of a soup. <laughs> so and then I'm blanking on like the big one. Yeah, no, you get like cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom, quinoa, celery, cream of onion. You get all kinds of creams. But I was just, I just put cream soups, but he, he's going into detail. This man is, etc. There you go, yeah, because those are your basic cream of Cream of soups, you know? yes. <laughs> so, I'm not going to get it, all of them on here. But well, of course. We don't have the space. Right. Now, nice. let's see, so we got chunks. No, okay, so if it has chunks, but is not thickened, that's where you're going to get. 
a lot of your main kind of yeah. soups, like chicken, chicken noodle. noodle soups. And so, <laughs> I think maybe we should ask a question such as noodles, and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, if the answer is yes, you would get chicken noodle soup, but I feel like there's got to be more there, so you got to ask yourself another question. What would you get there? You would get like a, some like miso soup, mm -hmm. and so you got to ask maybe chicken based, like broth based. Or wait, but miso soup is broth based too. I think it can have chicken in it. Legally, what is the definition between the distinction between chicken soup and miso soup? I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Well, you're the soup master. I'm you're the soup master. You're supposed to know this. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you think about it. The ones <coughs> they come from different countries. Uh, they uh, they're uh, a different flavor. Flavoring. Flavor. Flavor. <laughs> Uh, they got a... <clears throat> Maybe rice noodles or like flour noodles? Yeah, I, I guess. Um, um, noodles? Uh, yes. Type? And then you get flour. You're gonna get yourself a classic chicken noodle. As is a household favorite in the U.S. since the '60s. Yep. Um, yeah. So you can even branch off from noodles and go branch off from noodles or over here to mostly. That's no noodles. Mostly noodles. Oh. Okay. Okay. And yes. <laughs> That's spaghetti. That's spaghetti. Is. Well, it needs to be, it's tomato base. So not there's tomatoes. the noodles underneath the tomatoes. But the thing is, we have to ask ourselves, is it noodles after we ask ourselves, is it tomatoes? So we'd have to pass this step first, but it didn't. So we, spaghetti goes over here somewhere. All right. All right. And so it is in fact to make chunky. It is in fact thick. And so I'd say in chili, which is also not a soup for all of you remembering back here, we will find spaghetti. I hope I spelled that right. You didn't write it in word? <laughs> is that English? Spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, spaghetti, also not a soup. And so, I think you might find quite a bit here. What else you got? The, uh, what is it, hamburger helper? That is one of them. Uh, Lucas comes up with some fancy word, or his mom does. I don't know what he calls it, but you got hamburger helper uh, down here. And I feel like you'll find in this space, you'll find a lot of not soups. If you go into water based, cream based, no. Tomato based, yes. Chunky, yes. Thick, yes. You'll find quite a bit there, I'd say. They're not soups. Yeah. Yeah. And so, the type of noodles, you'll get flour. I'll just say, like, uh, other. Can we go into all the different types of noodles? I feel like that'd be a lot of space, a lot of time. Do we have time? We got all the time in the world, baby. I like your thinking. So I'm going to look up now. Types of noodles. Uh -huh. you put rice noodles on there? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I, I know that's, that's rice noodles are the core of miso, I would say. Right. Um, I mean, miso is made of fermented soybeans, so technically a chili, would that be? What are you talking about? There's no tomatoes. If it does not have, if it has tomatoes, then it can be chili. But if it does not have tomato, it can't be chili, legally. 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 You heard it here. And as we said before, chili is not soup. <laughs> and miso soup has soup in it, so it can't be. Right. Think about it. It literally says it makes sense when you think about it. In the name. 
It's showing me just different shapes of pasta noodles. Not what, not what ingredients, what flavors of pasta noodles. So I'm gonna just say rice. Don't forget flour. <laughs> if not rice, flour. Not right, put rice. Oh, or flour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I That's where you get the classic chicken Zucchini. noodle. Right, okay. Zucchini. Zucchini? Oh, I'm, we're yeah. getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Chill out. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put uh, miso in here. Miso soup down there. I like a good miso soup. I feel like something we talked about but didn't really address it is over there on the left to water there, right in bowl, pointing to water. water. Oh, because like if it's in a bowl, then it's soup, right? Because we talked about so yeah. how if you pour it in a cup, it's no longer soup. Bowl. Right. And then if you get a uh, good cup. Uh, cup, not soup. Cup. Oh, coop, coop. Yeah, <laughs> we're staging one. Uh, so yeah, if it's in a coop, you cannot. <laughs> it does not work. Okay. And then, so yeah, what kind of noodle types do you have? You have rice noodles and flour noodles. What else do you get? Uh, corn noodles? Zucchini. I don't know. Name one soup <laughs> that features zucchini noodles. Name one soup that features a zucchini noodle. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> you just said different types of noodles. Uh, what soup? Zucchini pesto. Ooh. Zucchini. <laughs> and, and you'll get not leave an arrow of that. Do not soup. <laughs> because I don't know what pesto is. I don't know what zucchini. I do know what zucchini is. But it is not soup, I'll tell you that. What about egg noodles? Egg noodles? That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Egg. And this is where you'll get your uh, egg drop soup. I'm getting to you. You need your dumpling soup? Does that feature? Okay. All right. Wait. Well, dumplings made of this features right? chunks. Egg drop soup, egg is chunks. You're right, you're right, you're right. So is it chunkier? <clears throat> you will get a, uh... No, you will get a egg drop soup. And if it is a yes, you will get a... Did you say... Dumpling, dumpling soup. We'll get a dumpling soup. There we go. <clears throat> well, I feel like we kind of ignore this. Wait. If it is not cream based, not tomato based, but does have chunks, but n no noodles, what kind of soup do you get here? You get a uh, non noodle. Noodles. Would you get rice? Would rice be, or rice is separate? Right. Rice is separate. Is that what this gumbo is? You know, I've been eating this. I don't think there's noodles in here. I think no, it's, it's just, just rice. rice. Also, okay, so, so so rice. We need to change this. Change. Put add two vegetables. So there is celery and well, miso has vegetables too. Yeah, but also I also put a thing for vegetables on there okay. for chunks. Yes, chunks vegetables. Oh. Or do you want to move it around? That's fine. Oh, I don't because know. Vegetables are chunks. Yes. And but we're gonna have like carrots. I feel like we're not getting into types of chunks here. I think we're getting into just simply does it or does it not have chunks? Right. Okay. Wait, what about stroganoff? I don't know. That's the that's hamburger helper. Yeah. I think it has noodles. Get yeah, Lucas. Lucas is the expert on what his mom calls hamburger helper. Well, stroganoff. Okay, I will join in. <laughs> okay, me and Matt had this argument a couple days ago. <laughs> Mom made it. stroganoff. Uh, and she spent that. all day oh. making it. And he oh. called it hamburger helper. So should I should I break off a hamburger helper? No, no. I'd say hamburger helper is stroganoff. There is no distinct yeah. difference between it. I just came here to got you in here to tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> and that your mom calls something fancy even though it is not. <laughs> 
But I like hamburger helper, the one that we had, that's usually like some sort of tomato based sauce, right? Mm-hmm. I haven't really had a hamburger helper, but tomato based. Kids too poor, too rich for a hamburger helper, huh? <laughs> this was not tomato based. Not this. So can we make a separate? So hamburger helper has. Well, you're already name. saying yes for tomatoes. Fine, no tomatoes. No, we already have no tomatoes. <laughs> we calm down. Fine, fine. But read the graph. Does it have chunks? <laughs> yes. Is it thickened? No. Does it have noodles? No. You'll find another question. What do we have to ask? Wait, I think you can go straight to stroganoff. Almost. I don't think so because I can name probably another soup that well, is. Well, okay, so non tomato. So, wait, we already went through tomatoes. No Does cream, it? no tomatoes. Yes, chunks, no noodles. What do you get? Can we go off size of noodles? Size. <laughs> I feel yeah, like we're like going <laughs> here. I, you're kind of stretching. Wait, though. where's yeah. ramen? Ramen? That's not a soup. That is in the there. flour is noodle. Is I would is say it? you'll get a slash ramen. Okay. Ramen. Okay. <laughs> my cap. You're welcome. Ramen. Wait, that is. Wait. Soup. What are okay. you doing? What are you? Who do you think you what? are? That is a very controversial opinion that you cannot just throw up there like that. <laughs> You're gonna start. What are you even doing? Uh, I had to come in here. <laughs> what makes you think that ramen is not a soup? Well, it's just noodles and water, essentially, in the little flavor packet, you know. That defines a soup, I would say. That is what soup is. It's just. It's Noodles, water, not necessarily noodles. It's just water and a little bit of flavor, and you got soup. <laughs> so it's easy soup. Yes. Because you just you literally put it in water, heat it up. Yeah. And flavor. That's what tea, coffee, and broth is. It's yeah, just flavor also, water. But those go under here because they're in a cup. Tea and coffee. Well, if you put it in a bowl, we already answered that question. If yeah, it's in a bowl. But what if the ramen? Because you you can get ramen cups, right? Yes. So would those those wouldn't be soup, well, those unless are... you put it in a bowl. Yes. Okay. So we're on the same page now. Okay. I understand. Yeah. You have shown me the way. Have you only e- eaten cups of ramen, no, and no, that's I... why you're getting your opinion like this? No. No. Okay. All right. Going on. All right. So. Do we want to move vegetables? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no. 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 I. That's fine. It's. I just because vegetable soup needs to be addressed. So I didn't know where to put it. So it is thickened, or wait, no chunks, or yes chunks. Noodles, no. That's where you're going to ask. Vegetables? And then you can put like, oh, uh, was it gumbo under that? And yes. 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 And a no. Does, stro- does hamburger helper feature vegetables? I need to know, Lucas. You don't have to come, just shout it. Ask your question again. Does hamburger helper feature vegetables? I'm the one that hasn't had hamburger helper. It no, does I'm talking about stroganoff. Stroganoff has mushrooms. Right? Okay then. Okay then. Okay. Is that a vegetable though? No. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's not a vegetable, is it? What's... <laughs> okay. As mushroom as fruitsandveggies.org has just now told me, although mushrooms are classified as vegetables, technically they are not plants but part of a kingdom called fungi. However, they share some characteristics with plants and, as you will find out, even with animals. No other vegetable can do that. Look for high vitamin D mushrooms in your grocery store. <laughs> are we sponsored now? No. By mushrooms? <laughs> yeah. I do enjoy some mushrooms, honestly. I personally don't. This is my opinion. I'm not a big mushroom guy. Not a big mushroom guy. What, do you just have like sautéed mushrooms and like butter and stuff? No? No. I don't get that fancy. Oh, am, I missing, my... am I missing out? Oh, yeah, okay. definitely. That's one of my, my favorite meal is some fajitas that are featuring sautéed mushrooms, onions, and peppers all mixed together with some fried chicken, ton of Ortega taco sauce, and some, uh, some, uh, what do you call it? The Tabasco sauce, because uh, for some reason, what is up with it? You can't buy Ortega hot sauce in the hot. Yeah. You can only buy mild, mild medium. Because they have vegetables, we're going to have to say, uh, no, it is a uh, quote unquote stroganov. <laughs> and then if it does feature not, vegetables. Not soup. Right? Not, not soup. Not soup. 
Alright, yeah, okay. Let's see. Of course. <laughs> uh, and then vegetables is gumbo. 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 There you go. Right. And then pretty much everything else that doesn't end with soup. Yeah, wait, 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 ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, cream base. Alright. Or wait, water? Cream base? Yeah. Well. Yes. Yeah. Cream yeah. base. So you get cream soups. Ice cream soup. That is with or without root beer. Right. Get in there. So you need me to read the final line. Thank you for listening to FRC, CIS FRC 4607 podcast, and thank you to LPI for being our sponsor shout out of the week.